Rejoice, Biafra is about to emerge. One Nigeria is UK's can. Mazinam hmm. Dikano, American lawyer, Bruce Fenn. Warren Tinubu on what is coming. This is after Donald Trump gives IPOP to Biafra lobby list top appointments. So this man too done the rejoice about Biafra emergence. He said President Bola Metunubu should get ready. He said this UK, one Nigeria is a UK scam. You know, this man has been preaching against this for a long time. You understand? So according to him, with the emergence of uh, Biafra lobbyists, you know, in top appointment, in top position, I meant to say, in the U.S. Uh, uh, authority, we eventually pave way for uh, Biafra actualization. Uh, Susie Williams recently named Chief of Staff by COS to U.S. President-elect Donald Trump as a pass of extensive lobbying work, including connections with Nigerians, indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. Willings was part of a lobbying firm that IPOP hired in 2019 to advocate for human rights and democracy in Nigeria. Trump, who narrowly defeated the Vice President Kamala, uh, uh, Kamala Harris in the presidential race, who chose Susie Williams as campaign manager for the chief of staff role, making her the first woman to hold this position. Praising her contributions, Trump said, Susie Williams has been crucial in achieving historic political victories and has played key roles in my 2016 and 2020 campaigns. She is tough, she is smart and deeply respected. Before her recent appointment, Willing was active in various lobbying efforts, including for Mercury Public Affairs, where she worked with high-profile clients like tobacco firm Swisher International and uh, uh, General Motors. She also lobbied for companies such as Alliance Resource Partners Co. in brackets, Bankers Financial Corporation, Insurance, and Zita Global Marketing. Her connection with IPOB emerged when it was revealed that the group hired her a firm, Mercury Public Affairs, in 2019 at $85,000 per month. However, disclosures, shows, disclosures shows, showed payment of only $254,000 uh, uh, $254, last year. Trump's victory has dealt support within the Biafran separatist community, which hopes for a renewed push for independence. Some members see Trump's win as an inspiration, anticipating stronger U.S. support for self-determination. Biafran leaders, including Simon Ekba, a prominent figure in the movement, express optimism, stating that the United States of Biafra looks forward to American support for the right to self-govern. The Biafran movement, led by Igbo activists in southeastern Nigeria has gained international attention over the year. In 2020, IPOP reported that a top U.S. Republican figure invited Nnamdi Kano, a key Biafra leader, to a Trump rally underscoring their connection. So guys, now Nnamdi Kano's American lawyer is saying that uh, Biafra should rejoice because Biafra is just at their doorstep with this very woman, you know, uh, with them, things will be okay, last, last. So, guys, how do you see this? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.